Hey there, everyone. My favorite stage setup is whatever stage is happening right now. Since we're not playing much together, I'm doing a lot of recording and a lot of overdubbing. Getting used to this video format, the lighting and all of the other specifics that go with what it takes to make music these days. Uh, as you can see in this photo, my favorite microphone and my favorite microphone setup is um, an AEA R92. It's a ribbon, it's a new modern ribbon. And I actually clip on, at the, in this older setup, I would clip on a, um, an AMT microphone that I used for a long time until I discovered the joys of a splitter. And I have a cable now that splits my electronic signal, which was what the clip-on mic was for, and um, the clean signal. So as I use my electronics more and more these days, the simpler the setup, the better. I use guitar pedals. I like old vintage organic sounding pedals that I can manipulate with my feet versus using a computer. Um, as far as my EQ goes, I have a very specific idea of what I'm looking for in my monitor. And I know how to ask the sound person for that in a nice way so that they don't get offended. And um, as far as setting up with my band, when we get into a live situation, whether it's with a big band or a small group, I want to be close to the drummer. And I want to have sight lines so we can see each other. The idea of being a soloist in the front, a lot of times I'll come to a gig and they'll put me right in the front, like I'm the soloist. So how am I gonna communicate with the band? So I'll end up angling things in ways where I can see and the sight lines are are creating a, another level of communication. There's um, a group I play with called Artemis, and Allison Miller, great drummer in that band, she has, has really shown me the importance of also angling the drums in a way that they're not facing forward, but they're more, again, we're in a, a semicircle, so we all can all be in touch with one another. This music is live and it's social, and when we get back to normal after all of this, not masking up anymore and not having to be 10 to 15 feet away from each other while we play. I think the level of listening and empathy and the high level of artistry that's gonna take place is gonna be mind blowing. So work on your favorite setup too. Just make sure you can hear yourself in the mix as much as you can hear the quietest and the loudest player on stage so that no one ends up overplaying and that everyone ends up, as Terry Lynn Carrington says, in the middle listening from the middle of the stage or from the middle of the room or from the middle of the universe have fun making music ingrid jensen